ជួបអាយប្រៃហៃហលមមដែលធ្វើឲ្យខ្ញុំជាប់ចិត្តហើយខ្ញុំបានហៅអស់ស្រីណាមកថតវីដេអូជាមួយខ្ញុំនៅក
you know, if you don't have a mixer, you can just use your hand or with the glove and mix all the ingredients, okay? I'm going to put the sugar in. Okay, that's sugar. Okay. And salt. Okay, salt. And just a little bit of um, black whole uh, peppercorn. Peppercorn or black pepper. This is optional, guys. If you don't like peppercorn, you don't have to put it. Okay. And just kind of mix it, <coughs> mix it around a little bit before you start the mixer going. Okay. And normally, when do you make this? How often do you make the, the fermented pork? I make it maybe, I don't know, once or twice a month. It depends how much my kids like it oh. or ran out. Okay. And how long uh, do we uh, store this? <coughs> we store this after we make it. Um, you can, if it's very airtight container, you can store it for like up to about two weeks. Uh huh. But I store it longer when I do individually wrap it. Uh -huh. So maybe about a month. Uh huh. It's just a little bit here, so it's kind of you try to get the pork skin mixture in there, break break up a little bit to mix in the meat. Okay. Now we're gonna add in the um, lamb powder. Okay. And in here, there's um, the big powder, and then they have a little package here. So just put the whole thing in there. Okay. Okay, now I'm Juni. Young I first took a high amateur to be at that. But you stop in a crown tongue, young I took into the garden be at that. I am Rick Manon, from Rick, and then you add that one, you might go back that one. Sam Chet Bomb on to the power, you might have. I bomb on my mixer, you can put the ball with my ink about my. So you're going to continue mixing all of these ingredients until it comes thick and uh, like a very thick paste. Yeah, like sticky. Yeah, yeah sticky, come very sticky. And now before I mix, uh, continue mixing, I'm gonna add some a uh, few drops of food coloring. Okay. Red food coloring, okay. so it give it some nice look. Okay. So maybe one, two, three, four. Four, okay. <laughs> so four drops of the red food color. And this is optional if you want yours to look, you know, a little bit uh, reddish pink, you need that. So you do want to check it and mix it after you let it use a mixer and the total process takes about five minutes. See if you don't like um, the, the color right now you can add a little bit more of food coloring. Mm -hmm. But I think I like mine more pink. I think I'm gonna add um, a little bit more. Okay. Two more drops. Yeah I think so too. I like the color pink too. One, two, oops. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I had this at the New Year's Eve party. It tastes so good that um, I had to get the recipe for you guys. So there you go, guys. For those that love uh, fermented pork uh, sausage, come on, how nice to do my name is true. It's gonna run for maybe about three more minutes. Okay. So after about five to seven minutes, um, this is the consistency how the um, pork look like. So now we are going to roll the sausage and Selena will show you how to do that. Okay, and you will need a uh, plastic uh, wrap. So there you go. Okay. It's going to kind of over this one. So what is the length you want to roll it? Um, maybe about a little bit over a feet. A feet, okay. So you want to take once, how many scoop? Let me it depends on how big you want it, but I try to do like one good big scoop. Okay. Actually more like, look, look more like two, two scoops right here. Two big scoop of yeah. tablespoon, two tablespoon. Okay. And she's adding one uh, chili. One whole chili pepper. And again, you know, this is optional. If you like it super spicy, you can add um, two or okay. as many uh, you, you, you would like. Okay, so now she's going to roll it. So you twist both sides, right? You hold both sides. Hold tightly. Just twist it. Uh, it's from an expert, guys. <laughs> See how she do it? Pretty fast. There you go. And just 
tape it. And you want to make sure you tape it very tight so no air can go in there. And that's how you would cook the sausage or cook the fermented pork. Okay. And um, if you can get the clear tape, yeah. it's even better because that one's more sticky. This one is not very as sticky as the other kind. Yeah, that's all we have, so. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hi guys, we're back. So Selena and I were done growing the fermented pork and lime juice, and this is how it looked like. Now Selena, can you show them the whole tray? So we spent about um, how much did we spend about uh, for this pork? No, I'd say about fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Two pounds. Two, so not bad, guys. You know, we spent fourteen dollars um, doing all these um, fermented pork, and if you were to buy it at the store, I think they're like about a dollar sixty nine cents for each um, each of them. And and what we hold up right now is like it's 23, 23 of these. Okay, we are going to basically gonna ship this to um, Selena aunt, which is uh, in Korea. So Selena. Okay, um, this is for my aunt Mi Aang. Yom Thun I mi phia tao in South Korea, so Mi Aang pro hai jam comment no YouTube Yom Phong, okay? Bye Mi. So next we're gonna show you how to do uh, the party uh, tray. Uh, um, party tray kind okay okay guys so here I'm showing you how to make it to a tray this is uh, basically for a party you know for birthday graduation any party you like and I'm making six pounds of this so I'm just mixing the pork skin and the ground pork together very well uh, like I say if you don't have a mixer you can do it you know the old-fashioned way with the gloves and your hand and just basically mix it like what I'm doing here and you're gonna mix this you know I advise you you have a, a strong man strong <laughs> boyfriend or whatever let them do this because this is very labor you know um, I'm just gonna mix it a little bit until all the combination all the ingredients combine together very well and I'm gonna put it in my mixer here and let it do the job okay Okay guys, uh, my friend Selena, she's going to show you how to prepare this on a party tray. So first she's taking the uh, plastic and she's going to put on the, the tray here. I have here, I have a half sheet. And the meat that I'm using, it's um, six pounds. So she just going, uh, I think it's about what, two? Two yeah, feet? Two feet. Yeah, two feet. Just enough to like yeah. cover the bottom. So yeah, you want to cover the whole tray with the plastic. And you want to do this to uh, airtight. You don't want any air to go into um, the meat. Okay. Mom, oh, I mean, thong day, you can eat it for a while. And next you're going to spread your red pepper on the bottom. And you, you this could is do it both sides or you could just do it one side on top, but I like to do mine on um, both sides. Okay. So just spread it all over, okay. and then after that we are putting in the sliced garlic. Okay. 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 And you're just gonna. Now we're just going to put the meat into the tray and we're just going to spread it out. And then we'll show you next how it looks like. So after you put all the meat into the tray, you want to press it down like we're doing right now. The purpose of this is to get it, you know, tight as possible so the meat, you know, stay firm and thick together very well. Behind,
Okay, oh Selena is using the pistol and she's basically pounding that thing all the way down. <laughs> so we want it to it. smooth it out, basically. So here she I'm just trying to break the lump first. Then I'll smooth it out after this. Oh. Right now there's some lump still. Okay, and you want to press it down. Yeah, you want like, the texture of it like, more like this. And you want it smooth. And you want a smooth texture. You don't want no lumpy yeah, texture. Yeah, you break the lump. Yeah. And smooth it out. There you go. It's a good hand workout. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is a great party tray, you know, for your guests. It's good for um, beer food, basically. And you appetizer. know, yeah, appetizer. And you know, Kamai, Kamai party, you want this to go very well with that Hennessy. <laughs> or 1738. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hennessy and what else? I don't want to be drink mostly. 1738. 1738. Okay. Well, some. Then some. Patron. Patron. Or Sratnam. Mm hmm. Very good. <laughs> well. <laughs> and you can, and you come on. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, after you press in the meat. And then now we are going to add the garlic and the chili on top of it, on top of it. Okay. So I'm just gonna go with the pepper. Now some people, they like to um, chop the garlic and the pepper and put it in the meat mixture. If you like it extra spicy, you can do it that way too. But for us, we have a lot of people who doesn't like spicy as much. So you do it this way, it's not as spicy. Again, if you don't like the pepper or the garlic, you just pick it out and throw it away. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you do make this, don't plan on kissing each other because <laughs> <laughs> good luck on that one if you do. So after you spread the chili pepper and the garlic, now we're gonna wrap with the, the plastic. That was okay. on the bottom. Yeah, that was on the bottom. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, you continue to wrap another layer of plastic on top of the tray. So you want to put a lot of plastic so it'll be airtight. Okay. You flap it. Dunk it. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta flip it guys. Whoa. Yes, you have to flip it. Oh, this is for the back. So we're basically wrapping the whole thing, huh? Yes. There you go. Well, I'm glad I have a <laughs> Selena here today to show us. Aren't, aren't we lucky today, guys? Mm -hmm. There you go. You want it as airtight as possible. Yeah, okay, you want it airtight as possible. I'll do one more. I should do one more. <laughs> So hopefully you guys watch what she's doing. There you go. And then you're gonna put the tray back. And then flip it back. There you go. Okay. So after you wrap all your, you know, wrapping the meat, next you're gonna get something, a plate or a tray. Here I'm using the same tray, the other half sheet. And then we, you wanna put something heavy. It's very, I'm using my mortar. And let it sit on top of that so it, you know, put the weight on it and very press down the, the meat together. I think what works best if you have a 12 um, can soda. 12 can. 12 can or 24 can that fits here. Oh, okay. It's nice and even. Nice and even. Yeah, put it on top here. Yeah. Okay. So. so there you go, guys. 24 hours later, we're going to come check it, out. check it out. I hope you guys enjoy uh, my 
tutorial with Alyssa today. So um, if you try out the recipe, let us know how it turned out, okay? Enjoy okay. it and have fun. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna call this Selena Naim <laughs> Chruk. <laughs> okay, thank you, Selena. Hey guys, so I'm over here at my sister house and I brought over the pork, fermented pork. It's been 24 hours. I can smell the aroma of the garlic and the sourness of it. So if you can zoom in the, you can bring it in the camera over here on Pip. So this is how it looked like for 24 hours. You can smell it. Smell very. I can smell the garlic. Very garlic. -y. So now I'm gonna cut it to uh, two pieces, and I'll have someone try it and. Uh, Ask them, you know, get their comments how it tastes okay, like. Okay, I cut into a rectangle shape and I put it in a, a freezer just uh, for a few minutes to give it a nice uh, chill. So now I'm recording my brother. Okay, so now my brother is gonna taste that um, fermented pork and tell you how it tastes like. Here you go. Before I taste this, I gotta give me some beer so I can wash it down. <laughs> Okay. Tastes like it's supposed to taste. What flavor? Tastes the same like everybody else make it. <laughs> Good. Okay, what uh -huh. number? No cap, no number. <laughs> what? No, no, you can't put no number on this. No number? No. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. My brother and I tried it. It was good, but he didn't give a number on it. And you know, if you have um, a very good, delicious recipe that you would like to share, let me know. And thank you for watching. Again, if you like my video, don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and to Bripley.